Hey guys, Jedo here and today I will bring you the latest patch notes for this um, patch which is the 1.1.68 and there will be new hero changes also known as your Cyclops, Star Soul Magician and there will be weekly hero rotation, new hero skins, premium skin shop and new features and events, hero balance adjustments, gear and spell, spells battleground adjustment and bug repairs. Um, there may be some other changes before the final update so please do, not, uh, do understand that this patch is not finalized yet. So for the weekly free rotation and new skins, there will be 8 free rotation heroes for this week uh, which is Saber, Alice, Karina, Clean, Fanny, Hayabusa, Karuna, Karina, and Sun. And for the 6 extra free heroes for silent members, uh, Bruno, Rafaela, Minotaur, Natalia, Yisun, Shin, and Johnson. And for the new skins, they will uh, release two new skins for this update, uh, this patch note. Uh, the, the one is Cyclops Exorcist, which will cost around 269 diamonds, and Natalia, which is the Phantom Dancer, exclusive skin for April Starlight members. So better buy the April Starlight skin member to get the Phantom Dancer skin for Natalia. And for the premium skin shop fragment, uh, there will be new changes. Uh, they added Nana, Graveyard Party. Um, skin which is the season 1 um, specialized skin and it will cost around 250 premium skin fragments and for Minotaur Bursting Yama uh, skin card is optimized so for the new features and events uh, the models of Hero Tigreal and skin Dark Knight have been remade with brand new demonstration actions and visual effects new Tigreal and his skin is now on sale in the shop as a gift pack original price is now is 699 diamonds and now it's it only costs around 489 diamonds and for the players they can now set up their gender genders uh, so tap the avatar then set up the gender in the basic info section there are three options male female and unknown after you set up the gender it will show in the chat if you choose unknown then it won't show there's one one cooldown before you can change the gender again and there will be new sharing feature for the squad system. Uh, now players can share their squad info to Facebook, VK, and Twitter. So there will be new lineup tips feature for the rank game as well. After selecting the hero, players can now post their hero's number of matches played and win rate in the chat. And for the arena contest gameplay, it is upgraded. Uh, so the gameplay is now is the dark pick mode or the ban and pick in order to improve the contest's fairness and com competitiveness what <laughs> so spectators temporarily cannot watch the process of ban and pick i think this is a good upgrade for the arena contest gameplay so they can now ban maybe fanny auto ban fanny or auto ban those op heroes in the arena contest gameplay so cyclops gift pack uh, hero cyclops and skin exorcist now is on sale with a price of 468 diamonds original price is 668 diamonds so better um, um, save those diamonds to buy Cyclops gift pack and now that limited time tax three tasks will refresh every three days players can now complete the three tasks within the limited three days to win the prizes so let's move on to the hero balance adjustments so the reduced the attack speed growth for all marksman heroes has been reduced by 0.5 percent so they basically nerf all the marksman heroes <laughs> okay that's good so the recommended gear sets have been adjusted for Johnson, Moscow, Saber. So this is a <laughs> maybe a bad news for us Ake players because they nerf Ake. Not really nerf, they just um, increase the mana cost and cooldown of his skills. Mid tank cooldown has been increased, mana cost has been increased for mid tank skill, and also as well as Gar Guardian, they reduce the basic damage and the mana cost has been increased. And for the 1000 pounder, mana cost has been increased, total 80 bonus has been decreased, basic damage has been adjusted, so it's so sad that they nerf Akai. So for Bruno Mo World Wave, armor reduction has been decreased as well. Bane, Shark by additional damage for Bad that has been adjusted, so basically they buffed Bane. Yu Zhao, Supreme Warrior, skill description has been adjusted and become immune to slowing down effect. Use the used to free hero when the hero is trapped, so that's a good thing. They adjusted Yudzal's skin uh, skill. So for Frank, your initial movement has been increased. Here, Iron Hook CD has been reduced and Fury Shock. So basically, they buff Franco somehow. That's a good thing. 
Sun clone techniques HP of two Doppler glangers have been summoned has been increased. So they increased the clone HP and for Mia Eudora Balmond skill visual effects have been optimized. Uh, animation performance of he hero's attack speed has been optimized to match the actual effect better. Now for the gear and spells battleground adjustment for the gear items, Deadly Blade they remade the attributes. Sun Scepter has been remade and renamed as Winter Trunkyun. So the attributes are still blank, so they will maybe release it later on. Hunter Strike Unique Passive Hunt has been remade, so they made remade the Hunter Strike. Uh, Curse Helmet, they adjusted the sacrifice. Uh, Courage Bulwark, but Hersey King, Flame of Fury, Ice Force, Concentrated Energy. Oh, they increased the spell vamp. Finally, I'm so happy to hear this. They improved the spell vamp uh, effect. That's really good. So I can make more spell vamp builds for Karina and maybe other mage here type of heroes. And now jungle items. Now players can now equip one jungle item at the same time. Oh, they cannot stack. They cannot stack jungle items now. So for the battle spell purified, it's uh, doesn't longer. It's no longer able to reset the stack and damage layers on the hero. So they nerfed the purify spell. <laughs> I'm not using that again. So for the battleground um, repairs adjustments, uh, defense of the minions that are strengthened by the Lord has been increased. The attack load of Chaos had be has been increased. So they buffed the minions. Newly added voice prompts for killed allies and enemies. <laughs> So they added new voice for allies, uh, the voice prompts for allies, an ally, ally has been slain, an ally has been slain. <laughs> okay, sorry for that. So for enemy die, an enemy has been slain. So basically they added voice prompts. So for the AI performance when the network text has been improved, it's more smoother when chasing enemy heroes. Battleground quick response, a rally and push, prepare for the team fight has been removed. Hang on and we will win and enemy missing action has been added, have been added. Well so basically they added uh they changed some quick responses. So for the minimap optimization now players can zoom into the map by tapping the exclamation mark button beneath the minimap. That's cool. They can they now optimize the minimap. There are different types of tap points on the large map, buildings, jungle monsters and enemy heroes, tap ally turrets or base to remind your team to defend. Tap enemy alter turrets to attack, send other attacks, tap the lord turret to tell your team to attack. So they basically, they improved the tap points on the enlarged map. Uh, it no longer shows the turrets and base with particle visual effect when the graph is set up as low. So for the bug repairs, this is really good because uh, we, we all know that Mobile, Mobile Legends team is very working very hard to provide us the best game, best experience in the game. So I really appreciate that. Uh, so for the bug repairs, they repaired in Bro mode. The bug that character can buy gear automatically when taken over by AI has been repaired. The bug that gift combo still shows up even when the player doesn't have enough damage has been fixed. The bug that messages exceeding length limit still can be sent when spectating arena contest has been fixed. And the bug that hero will receive extra damage from Aki ultimate skill when using profile has been repaired. Finally, they repaired it. The bug has been fixed that when Gord uses ulti in the bush, the stealth mode cancel even the skill doesn't hit. And the bug that alpha drone can be seen in the bush has been fixed. Finally, they fixed those bugs. So guys, that's all for Patch Notes version 1.1.68. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please do leave a like, subscribe, and share my videos. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.